So Alex and Carlos Penavega, you probably know them from Big Time Rush and Spy Kids, but what's interesting about them is that they are actually a Christian married couple that follow and fear God. And recently, what I found super sad is in an interview, they talked about how they lost their baby, their fourth child, um, in a stillborn birth. And this is an interview of them talking more about that. The most peaceful walk that you'll ever take. And, you know, we can really attest to this as like, uh, you know, really like we're walking through grief right now after losing our daughter. And that was the hardest thing we have ever had to experience ever, 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 ever. Um, but what's awesome about our God is he has truly met us between this place of pain and peace. And mm. he really spoke to us with like we've been saying like the slogan for this season really feels like pain with purpose and it's interesting mm -hmm. how god will make any painful experience that you have gone through whether it was before you really knew him because he already knew you or while you're walking with him he brings purpose to all the painful things in your life um and he turns them into testimonies he turns them into the thing that you thought was going to kill you actually is the thing that elevates you and um it's yeah. been a whole it's been very unique for us to be in this season because i feel like we've gotten a chance to know god on a level that we didn't even know we were capable of uh because he's just he's really brought us to a whole new place with him and it's it's been very fruitful in a season that could have felt otherwise yeah and you've both been it's been inspirational to watch how you've navigated that you know and and even how you're talking about it now because i think people there's so many people hurting and going through so many different things and what you have faced is one of the most unimaginable things to go through and you've both handled it with such grace and you know, i want to commend you for that and just thank you for always being two people you know in the public eye who are willing to share your faith mm -hmm. and who are willing to create projects that inspire people right mm -hmm. um and this project that we're talking about here you know just inspiring people and, and one thing about the two of you too that is so unique is you work really well together Car yeah. carlos what is it <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, the girl that we made the offer to first. This is not a funny joke. <laughs> she couldn't do it. <laughs> mean joke. No, no, no. But, I'm, but, but hold on. The beauty of it is that it was such a blessing that she didn't make it, and then we got Alexa, you know? We saved Look a little bit of money the budget, and she was wonderful to work with. So. You guys, I promise, Carlos has many redeeming qualities. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? Okay. I don't want to certify here, but is it ever hard to work together? Is I would imagine it's fun. There's great moments. Is it ever difficult? Oh, I think for the yes. here's what I'll say. For the most part, nine times out of ten, it is amazing. But then you have the moments where we're both human. We're gonna let each other down. We're gonna mess up. So whatever happens at home, you do your best to not bring it to work, right? Yeah. But you can't you can't help but like like it will never affect our work which is awesome but you know i remember specifically on this set we got in a tiff like where we just missed each other <laughs> in our communication and the next couple of days on set were just harder they were just harder but these are things that she's 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 my wife wife and my work wife so <laughs> two, i only get one and it's so we're, well, you know but you just learn to find that balance and actually to be honest with you, it really stretches you and forces you to have to get through those situations faster yeah. because you're working together. So if anything, it's like going to the gym and getting a harder workout, but in the end, you become stronger for it. Amen. I like that. I think it's amazing that even in the midst of this pain of losing your child, because she didn't even have a miscarriage, and obviously having a miscarriage hurts just as much, but she was able to actually see her baby like go through the nine month process of her baby being of her baby being in her body and then it was born as a stillborn and the fact that she was that both of them were able to see that but they can still laugh is a huge testimony of God. They can still, you know, joke around with each other and be positive and make a movie that's called Mr. Manhattan, by the way. 
they can still make movies that talk about Jesus and glorify him. This one is, I actually want to watch it. It comes out May 24, so in like a few days. Um, and it's in Pure Flix, I believe. And it says it's about Mason Bradley's life turns upside down when he unexpectedly becomes the sole guardian of his late brother's kids after prioritizing his law career and ending his engagement. Ooh, so that's going to be cute. I feel like that's going to be kind of like a cool love story that is, you know, centered on Christ. And um, I just think it's amazing that they can still glorify God even in the midst of this. And there's this song, um, I think it's called Firm Foundation. I forgot what... what what song it is actually but i think it's from foundation where it says like i still have joy and chaos i have peace that makes no sense it's like i still have joy and chaos i have peace that makes no sense so i really that is a huge part of jesus that god gives you that it's so you don't you don't know how to how to put it into words um that even when you're going through the hardest times of your life like that's when god is the closest to you and you have this peace that makes no sense you know the bible says that god is near the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit and that's a testimony of what's going on with this couple so what happened is, um, an ABC News, this is an article about what happened with their child, which says, Alexa and Carlos Penavega announced their fourth child who was born at rest. That's, that's a sad way to say. It. That's, it's like a beautiful, but like a bittersweet phrase, born at rest. In heartbreaking posts. Alexa and Carlos's fourth child has died during birth. The couple announced on Monday in a heartbreaking post. The Spy Kids star and the Big Time Rush member said in a joint statement sharing to Instagram that their daughter, named Indy, was born at rest. There are never the right words to say when it comes to loss, they said in their message. After a beautiful and peaceful delivery, our daughter Indy was born at rest. It has been a painful journey, but in the pain we have found peace. God continues to comfort and hold us in his arms. Their statement continued, The prayers from the community around us have been so sustaining in this difficult season. This little girl has already changed our lives in so many ways. She was absolutely beautiful and looked just like daddy. Dark hair and all. Grief has come to us in waves, they said. Moments of feeling absolutely gutted. The moments of feeling blessed by just getting a moment with her. Wow. That's, uh, it's like bittersweet, you know. It's like, it's really sad, but sometimes if a heartbreak brings you closer to god and it's a heartbreak that has blessing behind it and i just could imagine because this is like a huge grief of losing your fourth child your daughter someone that you were just super excited to like see and look forward to and um I just think it's great that they still glorify God in it in it all because you know God even in the midst of pain like we have to glorify God because it's not about it's not a transactional love with God you know like we don't we don't give to God because he gives to us we give to God because he loved us and because he loved us even before we loved him and he's unconditional with his love and sometimes it doesn't make sense certain things we're like well if you love me then why did you allow this to happen but God cares more about our character and about the things that we have you know he cares more about who we are and our hearts and our possessions and sometimes God allows pain in our lives so that he can build our character and build intimacy with us because ultimately that's what he cares about he cares about having a real relationship that is authentic that isn't relied on what he can give us but on more on who he is and our friend and the friendship that we develop with him and yeah God is in a transact it's not a transactional love with God where you know I feel like a lot of times in our world, we always are so accustomed to that kind of love where Jesus calls us to be different. We love the people that love us. We love people who are easy to love. But when there's a person that's hard to love, when we have to love our enemies, that's when we back away from what God has called us to do. Um, Jesus says, what's the use of loving um, a person who loves you back? Um, because even the sinners do that. He calls us to love people who don't love us back. He calls us to love people who don't ever say thank you, who are not grateful. And that's the beauty of Jesus because he gives and blesses the people who never even thank him he blesses the sinners with the son with jobs with all of these things even though they never say thank you so it's not based off a tr on transactional you know kind of love it's based off just this just an unconditional love that makes no sense to outsiders to sinners but when you're in it you realize why you know it makes perfect sense because god clears it up for you the closer you get to him but i think they're th this this um couple is just such a beautiful testimony of um 
of people who are in the who are in a in a world of like acting and fame and Hollywood, but still glorify Jesus. And I think the reason why they're not even as famous um, as most celebrities is because they're not lukewarm Christians. They actually really do follow Jesus. They actually do fear him. And I think it's cute because I was reading their love story. So Alex Pena Vega was actually married before um, Carlos for I think for two years, but she was really young. And then she got married to Carlos when she was 25. Um, and apparently they met at a Bible study, which I think is so cute. For all you know, anybody watching, you probably meet your ma man or your woman at a Bible study or at church. I don't know. Or you never know, but they met at a Bible study, and I'm like, that's so cute. And they have three kids now. They had their, um, they're gonna have their fourth, but you know, sadly, um, it, um, she passed away, and she was still born, but she's with God in heaven, and we know when they pass away, they're gonna have someone waiting for them. So that's what's beautiful about that. But yeah, I just think that I just really love this couple of God, and I think it's amazing because they're a kingdom couple, and they're, you know, they're a couple for Jesus and to glorify His kingdom and to elevate, um, elevate um, Jesus ultimately and bring others to Him. But yeah, that's the news, and let me know what you guys think, and I am out.